Hellcat. Welcome back, Patriots. I'm Brittany. I'm Tyler. And this is your HHS News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Get your A-plus done Tuesdays and Thursdays in room W106. You must take all midterms with the A-plus teacher around campus. Seniors, don't forget that your FAFSA is due March 2nd, so get it done. Plato, Tuesdays and Thursdays after school, room W106. Plato students will be with the teacher for two hours after school to help you. Prestige Program Clubs is coming up. Starting Monday, Gamers Club will be held in room L126. Study Hall will be held in room L124. And Marine Biology, which will be having a field trip over break on the 18th. Tuesday is the Battle of the Cards, and that will be held in room L126. The East Coast College trip is coming up. Meet with Miss Abney in W108. This week or next week, the trip is going to be in June and it will be lots of fun. And what will also be fun is more prestige program clubs, which will be taking place on Wednesday as well, with the music club, which will be held in room W128, and also study hall and gamers club. Thursday will be battles of the cards and study hall. And on Friday will be Love Vibes Party, which will take place in R150. And they'll have chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries. And prizes. So make sure to go. Well, it is time for, I think, everybody in the school's favorite part of the day. I know it's my favorite part of the day. This one's a good one today. Uh, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it, courage is the quiet one at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mary Ann. Well, that's your HHS News. I'm Tyler Alexander Baca. And I'm Brady Nicole Ellis, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, Heritage. Today I'm here with Corey Jackson to interview to talk about Black History Month. How are you doing today, Corey Jackson? Doing great, thank you. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm Corey Jackson. I am serve as the Chairman and CEO for Sigma Beta Zai Incorporated, and we provide research-based mentoring programs uh, for middle school and high school students, and I also serve as the vice chair of the 100 Black Men of the Inland Empire. So why do you um, try to focus on these age groups um, partic particularly? Uh, we really find that, uh, especially in middle school, um, that's when they're basically developing their habits. And whether they're good habits or bad habits, you want to make sure that you're there to help guide them in the right direction. So. Uh, when they get to high school and they're making those very important decisions in their life for their future, uh, that they make the most informed and wise decisions as possible. So what do you usually do to celebrate Black History Month? Well, I usually uh, make sure that, number one, I uh, try to help other young people uh, be educated about the tremendous impacts that African Americans have made throughout this nation. Uh, but also, I choose myself to read and look up other history about facts about uh, things that I really don't know about in terms of uh, black history. Right. What is the significance of black history month to you? Well, I think this, the significance of black history month is really uh, just a recognition uh, that really this country was uh, built on the backs of African, African Americans. And whether it's through uh, throughout the time of slavery to the civil rights movement or even today, um, even then we've made significant contributions uh, to science, to math, to the inventions that were created, um, and then really just serve as the um, moral compass of the nation in terms of how people should be treated. Right. You're participating in the Black History Month celebration, right? Yes. Uh, what part are you going to play in this cultural event? Um, I'm going to really be mostly in, in the background making sure that we're, stand, you know, we're keeping on track and making sure that everyone knows what their roles are um, and just make sure that uh, people have the most uh, inspiring time possible while they're here. Right. Do you know any interesting facts about how Black History Month started? You know, actually I don't know much about how it was started really. Um, some of the things that I've really been uh, finding that's interesting um, are the many inventions that African Americans have uh, created uh, throughout the time of uh, even before this nation was a nation, really, yes. you know? Um, and it, it's really interesting how 
Uh, it could be just some of the most simple things that we take for granted, uh, but uh, great thinkers and inventors uh, that are African American have really made great contributions. Is there anything you'd like to add today before we end this interview? Well, I think that the main thing that uh, I would say is that uh, we must continue to make sure that African American history is being told uh, to our young people, no matter uh, what ethnicity that they're from, uh, so that they know that no matter what your background is, you can do great things in this nation and you can make sure that you leave your mark uh, in this world as well. Well, thank you for this interview today. I'm glad you could come out. Um, I'm Joshua Morgan, and I'll be back next time with more interesting facts about Black History Month.